So we need to avoid avoiding constant symbols. So what what are constant symbols? So imagine for example for example if we have a sequence of one 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 and so if you're doing a IDFT of that, so inverse discrete Fourier transform, then then so we've got all frequency in it. And this gives us in the time domain just the delta pulse, and then the rest is zero. And so on and so on. So obviously this this won't this won't work. This would, would be one of our worst case scenarios. Yeah, so imagine we are just um, we're transmitting a bit stream just containing ones, then then this would be impossible to be um, detected on the receiver side yeah so that's a bad that's probably one of the worst sequences possible worst sequence of course the best scenario would be yeah if we if we have so that would be a worst sequence possible the best scenario would be we have some random sequence here. So let's say this is just 0, 1, minus, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0, and so on. And this would obviously also give here some random sequence. And that's probably the best, the best possible sequence. So random sequence. Obviously, the problem is um, transmitting a random sequence um, is of no use because we would like to transmit data. So we need to find a way of um, randomizing our data. So the solution, the solution to is um, that we code our data, that we um, use a random number sequence. We use a use a noun. Random, random number sequence. And XOR our data with it. And then on the receiver, we just XOR the data again with that. So what does an XOR actually actually do? Remember, the XOR function is um, essentially a controlled inverter. So if if this is our our XOR symbol here, and that's probably quite an ancient XOR symbol here, what I've learned a while ago. So that's our XOR gate here, and let's say this is our data, and um, that's the output data here. So if if this input is is just constantly zero, then um, then the data is identical to to the output data. So if if we now have the have the other the other condition that if so that's out and we have this here as a as a one as a logic one. Then, then the output is just the inverted of the data. Yeah, so the XOR is basically like a um, inverter which can be switched. So zero means 
there's no inversion and the one means there is inversion. So here this is no inversion. And here we've got inversion. And so obviously if we are um, creating a stream on the transmitter, which um, with zeros and ones, and XORs with our data, um, and then we just invert it back with the stream here on the receiver, we're able to recover our data and um, creating also random number sequence with that.